I'm Yuval David, traveling around Israel with the Jewish National Fund USA, learning about Israel's issues with the drought and overall scarcity of water. The population of Israel has grown since 1948, the day of its establishment, from 600,000 people to over 8.5 million people today. Throughout this time, rainfall precipitation has decreased by more than 50%. Due to Israel's clever water management, Israelis still have water, but it's expensive and there's not enough. The population is still growing, as are its water needs. This is the Jordan River. It used to be Israel's main natural water resource. Some people might now call it a stream. Israel has entered its fifth year of a very serious drought. Its impact is seen at every single natural water resource, including here at the Kinneret. The water used to come up the house. Our children used to jump from the second floor into the water. People don't come as often as they used to come because the water is so far away. There were no fishes around. Something is changing in a very bad way. The amount of inflowing water to Lake Kinneret, the Sea of Galilee, is the lowest in the history. If the lake continued to recede, it would be a disaster. The line of the Kinneret was right there by all of these houses in the background. Now we're walking on what used to be deep underwater. There is no water in Jordan. There is no water in Syria. There is no water in Palestinian areas. The whole area is suffering for a very heavy drought. This region is combating the challenges of an expanding desert. Israel has to maintain and develop its natural and alternative water resources in order to survive. The five Israeli desalination plants operate at max capacity, 24-7. This is the largest desalination plant uh, in Israel in the world. 20% of the Israeli water is coming from this plant today. This water, about 30 minutes ago, was seawater. And now, it's potable water, drinking quality. Bechaim. Bechaim. We're lowering this apparatus down under the ground to see if we can find water there. We're waiting for a siren to go off. JNF USA is here in Chalutza, helming the water drilling deep down into the aquifers to tap into the water that's necessary to create an agricultural oasis in the middle of this desert. What we're doing here, we're growing a hydrophonic lettuce that the water runs in the tunnel the greens are just sitting inside and growing. This system is a recycling system. We save water by the system. When we came here, there was only sand. I'm here walking amongst the greenhouses of Chalutza. Even though it looks like a massive agricultural success, they've still had their challenges. They are not connected to the national water grid. They get all of their water from a desalination plant in Ashkelon. That means water is much more expensive. 50% of Israel's water for agricultural use comes from recycled water stored in reservoirs just like this one built by JNF. 85% of Israel's water is recycled, bringing it to number one globally. Purple pipe, recycled water. What type of oranges are these? Uh, these are uh, Valencia. So all of this is thanks to the recycled water that comes here and you use to be able to grow these really tall trees. Almost every single drop of water in Israel is recycled. Now this is the gap, that not every drop of water is uh, in reuse. We need more reservoirs just to finalize the, the balance. In order to get closer to 100% of reuse of every drop of water, we need 90 more reservoirs to help you with this wonderful work to keep Israel alive. All my kids grew up in the fields. We all see that growing for your country is beautiful and it's important. If we would have enough water, we could feed our own people.
what are all these fruit doing on the ground? I drop them down in order that the tree will live with the less water. You're picking fruit off the tree and throwing it away because yeah. what? You don't have enough water for both the fruit and the tree. Yeah, exactly. I came to the Negev to make it bloom. So you didn't have enough water and no. you had to, yeah. to stop growing yes. it. Our natural resources are declining and our need and demand are raising. So the solution will be more desalinated plants and use more treated wasted water for agriculture. If we want to solve problems in five years from now, we need to work now. Israel needs more water now.